guys, you're not going to believe it, but I am in Shenzhen and I'm actually with Oppo here talking about a tech event. This is a, a special event that they're allowing tech and media to come in and check out some of their labs. And this is the specific labs that we haven't been able to access to before. And we're going to be able to check out some of the things that make their devices unique from not only building, uh, testing, but also even tuning. We're talking about actual wearables, even smartphones. I have the Oppo N3 with me, so I'm going to be photographing and a lot of B-roll is going to be actually coming from this. But I'm so excited to be able to start this trip. It's going to be a two day event. I'm going to be trying to capture this in a video. It may not be in the order of the things I see it, but it's going to be exciting and I hope you enjoy it as well. I'm right now in the imaging lab at Oppo. This is literally where devices like the Oppo N3, devices like the Find X6 Pro, literally my favorite phone of the year, are calibrated. In fact, this robot is using the Find X6 Pro. It's using the camera to be able to get it to work the best way in all of the different scenarios. They have little rooms like this. This looks like a hotel lobby right there. I can check into this hotel. And I can obviously, and right across where you guys are sitting, where the camera's set up, is a, a nice little bodega where you can go in there and order some food. There's a, 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 like a dinner table over here. There's a living room over there. There's a lot of different robots set up in here. They have three running right now. This one is running the Find X6 Pro. There's another one over there with a mannequin head model out of, uh, basically on somebody that works here at Oppo. And I'm gonna make sure to stay away from, uh, not get bumped in here. But the really cool thing about it is they not only calibrate the front camera, the main camera, different exposures. I'm showing you guys different parts of the video where I was in a different room with one of the other robots. They had another one at a, a somewhat of like a nightclub bar where neon lights are in the background. And it's right there. It's using the camera now upside down. It's connected via USB-C into the actual processor and the entire servo system that they have built in here. And the arm acts as if it's us. And the really nice thing about this that I really like about this is, is it takes typically up to two days to test the system. This gets it down to about two hours. You could test the device and see how the performance are, especially when the software department pushes out an update to the camera. This is how you see how it's gonna perform. You gotta do the work, you gotta do the legwork, and it's robots that are gonna be able to do this. And again, front-facing camera, rear-facing camera, the, the Find N3 is literally sitting in one of the other devices. They're using it, they're testing it. And I just, I can't wait to see more stuff. There's way more stuff, obviously, in this building and a lot more things. I'm gonna let my, my buddy come here and finish taking all the other photos, but this is epic. Different experiences, different scenarios. Again, like a lobby of a hotel here, like a little cafe there. And it goes where it needs to go to get the camera set up and calibrated the right way. Two hours, literally. The whole setup here can be done in two hours with the right robot. This is the camera setup I'd like to have for all my videos, but I don't know if they'll let me take this with me home. So to say that I was actually able to see so much that I'm not able to share with you guys other than share with you guys some of the B-roll that we were able to capture in the testing lab, but we got a chance to go in and actually see all of the different steps that it takes to build an Oppo Find N3. I'm talking from the display, from the battery assembly, from the screws, uh, even to the camera sensors, the cap, the cover on the back, the testing, the drop testing. Oh my God, the drop testing experience is just, it's, it's, it's exciting to see that they're actually testing to this level, but it's also, for me, very hard to watch this type of content because I take care of my devices and I don't ever wanna see somebody's devices get damaged. But the experience that we saw here from the folding tests on both the N3 and the N3 Flip, uh, the ability of seeing the drop tests on some of their other Reno lines of the devices that I'm sharing with you guys right now are absolutely fantastic. The level of detail that they take uh, or attention that they do to make sure that the devices not only pass their quality assurance, but they're actually able to pass real life experiences. As we're also looking with that water ingress protection that or a test that they're doing here with the water jets flying, well, basically going in at the Find N3 on um, all different angles from both the top in a kind of like a 180 degree uh, approach of shooting water at the device on the display, on the inside, on the outside. And all of this is done in a separate lab for every single test. Every shot that I've shared you guys, if they're not related to each other, they're done in a separate room. So we saw a lot of different parts of this, uh, I would say basically the assembly factory, um, all the QA sections that they do just to provide us a really good experience. And 
I appreciate the ability of seeing this level, level of uh, attention and detail. So kind of like the BTS of the effect, we get these devices and we appreciate them, but we never really truly understand how many people are involved in making these devices and making this tech accessible for us. The Find N3 is definitely one of their best solutions, one of their best offerings in 2023. And this tour has been fantastic because we see it from inception to creation to testing. And then of course, into our hand. We are here at the OPPO Labs and one of the biggest things obviously is they're opening up the doors for a lot of us to be able to check out some things that haven't actually had the opportunity to be covered by international media. This is CyberReal, or basically the experience where we're getting some AR, XR experiences using OPPO devices, but not only just regular devices. We're talking about even headsets. We're talking about a prototype headset that's positioned here. I'm gonna show you guys some of the B-roll on there. Some really good experiences using uh, you know, GPS, using uh, position location, and of course, accelerometer technology. Also, we have some experiences here where we're able to see some AR or displays that are sitting outside that are using the, again, the built-in hardware in our smartphones. And Oppo's technology has definitely been one of those things that showcases all of that tech. One of the other big things I appreciate, you can see the room is massive in here. A lot of people is they also had a nice little demo area here where we're able to basically see or actually have a, an AR experience where they have like a floating Find N3 and the Find N3 flip. And we get some of that technology demoed for us. A lot of this stuff utilizes tech that some of us have in our hands, but it's going to be getting so much better in the future. Now, this MR lab, the unique thing about it is this is where they actually test the calibration of the mechanics of the sensors that they have built into that headset that I showed you guys at the beginning. One really cool tip that I found out later on as we got to this lab is this is actually powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon uh, XR platform. And one of the biggest things obviously that we get here is the ability of getting that calibration data. So we've seen this on other headsets in the market. Here, they're calibrating it to run on specific experiences for XR, for AR. At MWC, we saw some of their other glasses. And we also have MR experiences, which gives us that mixed reality, like that headset I was able to play. At the beginning of the demo session that I was playing, I actually had the opportunity to see through the camera with a really good refresh rate. And this is where they get the labs and all the information, all the calibration data to make that happen in a such a small, convenient, and very nice and friendly ecosystem. Unfortunately, it's still technically a uh, demo or developer kind of a system, so we don't know when we're gonna see that type of hardware, but they're making so much progress, and it's equipment like this that makes this happen. So now we're at the OPPO Health Lab. This is essentially the lab where they're able to get all the data, all the specific calibration data that they need to be able to set up things like this. This is the brand new OPPO watch that really revolutionizes the way OPPO has been capturing data, but also how they capture it. Yeah, well, they calibrated. So you can see a gentleman right behind me there walking in. He's fully helmeted up. It almost looks like Bane. But the biggest experience here is that they're able to calibrate the experience based on the data they're able to read from a chest uh, strap for the heart rate as well as the oxygen intake. And they calibrate that information so that when you're able to basically go outside and run, and we're going to check out some of the other labs. There was another lab that they were showing us in the other room. They had a lady running on a treadmill wearing the Opal watch with different sensors and they were able to 3D model her entire presence on the treadmill, as well as the statistics that they're able to pull from it so that they can actually get that data and validate that the data they're getting from the watch matches what their mechanical, well, their actual systems and architecture has done really, really nice. The lab is absolutely fantastic. We have treadmills, we have steps, uh, we also have uh, rowing machines. I even saw a ping pong table over there. But the biggest thing, of course, of all, is the fact that the watch itself looks absolutely fantastic, and it matches my Find X6 Pro because that is truly a combo made in heaven. Really, really exciting to be able to check out all of these things at OPPO's main labs. And of course, there's way more stuff to check out. Okay, so now we're in the protocol lab. This is a, a joint collaboration between OPPO and Qualcomm. And the reason I'm saying this is because we're getting the ability of doing some stuff here that typically will cost a fortune to test. What I'm talking about here is some servers sitting right behind me on the right side that are connected using a Qualcomm and OPPO collaboration system that's running in here. But what's even cooler is this room. This room can simulate a location in Los Angeles, a location in Madrid, Spain, a location in Hong Kong, and give us the ability of testing devices with this type of technology without having to travel. Now, mind you, I would, I would rather travel. Give me a phone and send me across the world. But this room gives us the ability of providing that technology testing 4G, 5G, and even some of the capabilities in 6G, which is promising us to try to give us faster download speeds, but not only that, saving us power so that we can actually have devices that can have faster connection, less battery consumption, and all day fun. Say hi. <laughs> That's Ben. He's with me on this entire trip to keep me legit. But this is actually a really exciting uh, part of the, uh, the trip. We're talking NFC here. We're talking technology that 
you probably use on a sing every single day on your phone, but you probably don't even think about it. It's what we use to pay. It's also what we use to be able to use, uh, maybe even initiate automation stuff, like using NFC tags, programmable NFC tags. This lab entirely is in dedication to allow us to have almost a 360 experience. And what I mean by this is the ability of running NFC on your phone from not just having it to tap on the back of the phone, but the also be running it from the side, from the back. Uh, they had one small demo there where they were showing an entity flip where it actually launched from every single angle. And what I'm showing you right there in that little clip right now is me running it with the Find X6 Pro and the Find N3. And I was allowing, well, it allowed me to run NFC when I had the phone sideways to each other. So obviously the tag is in the back on the, on the device and it's running really good. So a lot of different things that are done here, not only for testing, but also automation. And it allows them to have a really good experience, especially for mobile payment, since a lot of us use that. Ever since the, you know, the concerns with the going on where everybody has to do touchless or contactless payment, this is what runs on your device and allows it to run really good. Their future plans, obviously, with a little more IoT uh, integration with car keys and more stuff coming up in the future. But really exciting to be able to check out a lab at Oppo that's dedicated to something as massive as NFC, but may, most people may not even think about it because they use it so seamlessly on a day-to-day -day basis. So I wanna say, obviously, that we've come to the end of the actual experience. It's been a two-day event experience at their facilities, both in Shenzhen and here at their testing facility, assembling facility. Everything that we had the opportunity to see has been, some of them are actually for, for the first time. We haven't had access to this information or this type of content. Uh, I'll say the hardest thing or the most exciting part about this entire thing for me has been the photography, lab where we're able to see how they test the cameras, the software, the uh, the improved uh, the technology that they're able to test every single firmware update. If they're calibrating different things, be it a Hasselblad calibration, be it an Opal calibration, maybe update to Android 14, all of that has to be tested when the devices have to be obviously released before they release the software to everybody else. And But I can assure you that the level of detail that they've been putting into it has been immaculate down to the screw level, to the assembly level. There's like small barcodes on the certain pieces where they're able to make sure that it's the right part going into the right assembly. It's amazing. And then of course, they test it out. So we get all of that experience, all of those uh, you know conversations being done, and we haven't even had the device being delivered. So this is the level of attention that Opal puts into it. And I appreciate that they let us be part of the show. So let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of this event? Is this exciting? Would you love to be able to see some more stuff like this on the channel? Of course, like and subscribe. And again, I'll see you guys in the next video. And thanks to Oppo for allowing me to be part of this entire experience.